Hello dear students, I welcome you all to the first class on the very important chapter which acts like the base of all mathematics. Okay, and the name of the chapter is Mathematical Reason. Okay, so this particular topic comes under the topic called logic in mathematical world okay so that's why as i said since it is a part of logic and since we all know that mathematics is nothing but all it's all about your logic right so that's why i said that this particular chapter is going to be the base for all the mathematics that you are going to do from now onwards okay so before before we go into the details let us try to understand very fundamental things that we need in mathematics. Okay, so we'll start with something called mathematical statements. Okay, so it's going to be like your English class now. Okay, so although I'm not so good in English, but it's going to be like English. So here we will first understand what is the meaning of mathematical statement. Okay, so a statement is a sentence which is either true or false but not both simultaneously okay so i hope this definition is clear to you okay so anything any sentence which will be either true or false okay it has to be only one but not both simultaneously okay if it happens then such statement such sentence is known as statement okay and we need to note these six important points okay so here a sentence will not be called a statement okay if it is an exclamation if the if you find any exclamation sign in a sentence then that sentence will not be a statement okay if it is order or a request okay if it is a question if it involves variable times such as tomorrow today yesterday etc number five it involves variable places such as here there everywhere etc okay and if it includes pronouns such as he she they etc okay so if a sentence contains any of these six then the sentence will not be called a mathematical statement okay and mathematical statement or simply statement will be of two types okay so one is called simple statement and another is called compound statement okay so you all know about simple statement and compound statement from your english as well okay so let us try to understand what is the meaning of simple statement now simple statement means a statement is said to be simple if it cannot be broken into two or more statements all right i hope the thing is clear to you okay so let us move on to the next topic that is compound statement now if a statement is like if you are able to break down a statement into two or more simple statement then such kind of statement is known as compound statement all right okay so having understood this much now let us move on to the first exercise that is from your volume 2 okay page b1147 okay so the exercise number is exercise 3.1 okay so question says identify which of the following are statements or statements are also known as propositions okay so you need to remember this as well now krishna is black okay so just uh, think in your mind and just check those six conditions okay does this uh, sentence fall under any of those six category i think uh, it won't right because we don't have any exclamation we don't have any question it is not order right it is uh, like uh, there's no variable place like here there it, it doesn't contain any pronoun okay so it doesn't contain any time factor like here like tomorrow uh, yesterday okay so that's why it is like it's just a statement okay so you can consider this as your statement okay so let us see question uh, two so again how black is krishna 
so you can see that this is a question so it cannot be statement okay third is listen to me it's like order and you can see some exclamation as well right okay so this is not a statement okay let us see number four a triangle has four sides okay so this is again your statement you might be thinking no a triangle has uh, three sides okay but it was mentioned in the beginning that statement can be false as well okay so that's why number four can be considered as your statement okay number five the moon revolves around the earth again we don't have any of those six categories out here right so that's why this also can be considered as your statement okay number six so number six prime factors of six are two and three it's a direct statement here okay again number seven won't be your statement because there is a question mark number eight do your homework okay so this is an order so again this cannot be my statement here okay so number nine says x square plus five x plus six equals to zero okay so we don't have any question mark order or a time factor okay so this can be considered as statement okay very good so again number 10 also can be considered as statement okay number 11 can be considered as statement 12 is also a statement 2 plus 2 is 4 but here they are showing it is 5 it is a false statement right so again this has to be a st statement again 13 will be your statement right and 14 okay so the sir, the earth is a star so again we don't have any of those six categories out here so that's why we can call 14 to be a, a statement here okay hope the thing is clear to you okay very good now state the truth value of the following now you just need to say whether they are having truth value or false value okay whether they are true or false that's what you need to tell me okay so there are only finite number of rational number is this true uh, can you count how many rational numbers are there no you cannot count right there are many rational numbers so that's why you uh, number one is your false okay so this is my false statement here number two the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero where a should not be equals to zero and you know about this condition from your junior class of quadratic equation where a b and c belongs to r that is this is my real number right has only always two real roots now is this possible no right you might have heard about something called nature of roots in your junior class that is in your class 10 right so there you came across something called imaginary roots as well so here they are saying real roots so that's why i'm saying a quadratic equation will always okay will always have real roots that that is not possible sometimes you may have imaginary roots as well so that's why equation 2 is also false statement okay number 3 sky is red again this is false so, and number 4 new delhi is the capital of india that is true right every rectangle is a square is this true kindly think okay so number five i'm leaving to you okay you just think whether every square is a rectangle or every rectangle is a square okay so you have to think that all right okay so i'm leaving question number five for you okay number six zero is a complex number since you have not done a complex number i'll directly tell you the answer so it is it's going to be true okay very good so we have question number seven with us so two plus two is equals to four obviously true next is false okay x minus 0 is x and this is also true okay so the equation x square minus 1 equals to 0 has two roots that is plus minus 1 obviously true pigs fly false right and number 12 number 12 is true right so you just apply a cube plus b cube formula so it's going to be exactly equals to this much okay so that's why this is going to be true here okay so as i said this is going to be the very simple a uh, chapter for you okay and from here from this particular chapter you will get a question for four marks okay obviously you won't get this kind of questions you will see the application of the very same things which you are learning right now 
when we are about to finish the chapter okay so in order to understand those last few sums we need to understand all these basic things here okay okay so your homework is here so you can have a look at your book okay so i am giving you question number 2 as your homework okay so so you just need to you need not copy your question you just write down your question number okay and just give me the answer okay very good so let us move on to the very important things that is called logical connectives okay so logical connectives means like uh we already talked about compound statements right okay so we know that compound statements can be broken into simple statements right so basically in compound statement we have got many two or more simple statements right and those simple statements are connected by some word for example you may say and you may say or right so such such words are called logical connectives okay so the first thing that we are going to learn is called conjunction here okay so conjunction so two statements okay so we always represent statements as small letters okay so i'm taking two statements and both of them have to be simple okay so two statement p and q are connected by word and okay so if there are two statements which are connected by and then the resulting statement that is p and q okay is called conjunction of p and q okay so if you use and then such a uh, connective is known as conjunction okay and the symbol for this is this okay so this is ulta v okay so this is the symbol for conjunction so this is also called p and q okay so you can read it p and q okay so here you need to learn something called truth table as well okay and you need to memorize this by heart okay so if you see in this whenever you have got p and q if both of them are true okay then only the resulting statement that is p and q will also be true otherwise we'll have everything to be false okay so you need to remember this because uh, this will be useful in your proofs as well all right so later on you'll prove a few uh, theorems or few results where you are going to make use of these as well all right okay so this is the first thing that you need to learn here okay so next is called disjunction okay so conjunction means and disjunction means or here all right so if two simple statements p and q are connected by the word or then the resulting statement okay so since you are connecting with or so that's why here you have to have p or q okay so p or q is called disjunction of p and q okay and in symbolic form it is written as p and this is like v okay so conjunction and means it has to be ulta v and for or you have to write normal v okay so this is the symbol for your or connective okay or logical connective all right so again we'll write the truth table for this and in this case if both the statements are false then only my result will be false otherwise everything will be true okay so that's what you need to understand here okay and the next thing next logical connective is known as negation okay so negation is just ulta like you just put to you just need to put not here okay so in every statement you just put need to put not okay so an assertion that a statement fails or denial of a statement is called negation denial means it's just opposite just put not okay now the negation of a statement is generally generally formed by introducing not at some proper place in the statement or by prefixing the statement with it is not the case that so you can put this as well or you can put it is false that all right so you can put any of this okay any of this one or this one or in some proper place you can put 
not as well all right so this gives you the negation again we'll draw okay so negation of any statement p is written as this sign okay so this means not statement all right so this is called negation p all right okay so again we'll draw the truth table for this so there's a statement p if statement p is false then the negation of this has to be true okay and if the statement is true then the negation of true will be false okay so this is the truth table for logical connective negation all right so you may pause the video to note down and i hope everything is clear to you till now all right okay so let us see the next exercise that is exercise 3.2 which is based on your logical connectives okay so here the question says write the negation of the following statements okay so the first statement here given is the number 17 is prime so just put negation of this right just you just need to introduce not here in appropriate place so if you put uh, uh, not in appropriate place then your answer will be the number 70 is not prime right okay so similarly root 5 is a rational number uh, negation will be root 5 is not a rational rational number or you can say is a rational number okay so here we are putting not okay so root 2 is not a complex number so there is always or already a not so you have to put a denial of this so what will be the denial of this particular sentence it's going to be root 2 is a complex number all right okay so what will be the denial of this the denial of this will be if this is equal to then the denial will be not equal to right okay so the number 2 is greater than 7 it's not greater than 7 right simple okay cow has four legs okay so cow has not four legs or you can write um, it is false that cow has four legs that's also fine okay so that also can be written here okay so a leap year has th 366 days okay a leap year has not 366 days okay or else it is false that a leap year has 366 days okay so every natural number is an integer okay so the negation of this is going to be there exists see every natural number is an integer right okay so here whatever natural number you take that has to be integer that's what is the meaning of this particular sentence now what will be the denial of this the denial of this in among all the natural number there will be some natural number which is not an integer right so that's what is the denial of this particular sentence okay so we have there is exist a natural number which is not an integer the denial of this particular sentence okay next is every real number is an irrational number okay there exist here every real number so we are not leaving even one real number okay so every real number is an irrational number now the denial of this will be there must be some real number which are irrational right so there exists a real number which is not irrational number okay let us see question number 10 all triangles are not equilateral the denial is simple it is false that all triangles are not equilateral or you can say all triangles are equilateral okay very good so next one is all similar triangles are congruent okay so here again we are talking about all the triangles so the denial of this will be there must be some triangle some similar triangles which are not congruent so that's why there exist similar triangles which are not congruent okay and the last one is area of every circle is the same as the perimeter of the circle okay so here also we have area of every circle so every so here also we are not leaving even one circle so there must be some circle okay so there must be some circle whose area will not be the same as perimeter right okay so there exists a circle 
there exists some circle okay so you can leave a so you can put instead of this some circle whose area is not same as the perimeter of the circle okay hope the concept is being clear to you okay now let us move on to the next question that is fifth question question says find out whether the negation of the statement given in equation one are true or false so you have to see see all these are your negation right so you have to check the truth value of these that's what the question is saying okay and you know the truth table of negation as well if p is true then negation p will be false if p is false then negation p will be true right so you are quite aware of the truth table now let us have a look at this statement i'm just showing you one example the number 17 is not prime this is false statement because we know that 17 is a prime number right so this is a false statement so negation p is false that means the original statement must be true right so this is true so that's what you, you need to verify out here from your question number five so you will try question number five by yourself you just need to verify like you just think in your mind and you just check your answers whether it is really matching or not all right okay so let's move on to the next question so you need to write the negation of all men are mortal okay so you need to write negation of this using there exists at least okay and without using there exist okay so here again we are not leaving even one men right so there must be some right there must be some men who are not mortal okay so that is the denial of this particular sentence so let us make use of there exists at least so there exists at least one man who is not mortal all right now let us not make use of there exist okay so it is false that all men are mortal so both are negation of this particular statement all right okay so your homework is going to be question number two four five six and seven you have to write this and submit it to me as an assignment okay okay so let's move on to the next exercise 3.3 so here again this is your homework so you need to find component statement of the following compound statement so you know that all these are compound statement because uh, we are, we can split all this statement into simple statements all right so this is your homework and your classwork here we are going to do this particular question so find the component statement of the following compound statement and check whether they are true or false okay so first uh, find compound statement or uh, in other words we will break all these into simple statements so number one says all integers are positive or negative okay so obviously the statement is connected using or right so the statements will be one of c as i said a statement will be written as small letters okay so, so small p one of the statement that can be derived from this is all integers are positive and what will be the other one all integers are negative right okay and both component statements are false here right we know that all integers are positive so we cannot say all integers are positive because there are some negative integers as well so that's why this first statement is false similarly second statement says all integers are false again uh, i'm sorry all integers are negative again we know that there are some positive integers as well so that's why statement q is also false okay and the connective word here is or okay okay so let's see the next one root 2 is a rational number or irrational number again the connecting word is or so that's why statement p will be root 2 is a rational number next will be root 2 is an irrational number okay okay so let us have a look at statement p root 2 is a rational number we know that this is false right root 2 is an irrational number this is true okay fine so let's move on to the third one so a student who has passed 
mathematics or computer science can go for MCA okay so again statement is connected using or so statement P will be student who passed mathematics can go for MCA statement Q will be a student a student who has passed computer science can go for MCA okay so here both the statements are true if you know what is the meaning of MCA right okay so in MCA we need both mathematics and computer science so that's why both are going to be true for me okay and the connecting word is or again okay so 36 is a multiple of 2 6 and 8 so there are basically three statements if you see here 36 is a multiple of 2 36 is a multiple of 6 36 is a multiple of 8 all right so there are three statements out here so statements are represented as p q and r okay so let us see the truth value 36 is a multiple of 2 yes we can divide 36 with 2 right so that's why first one is true second one is 36 is a multiple of 6 yes so we can divide 36 with 6 so that's why this is also true 36 is a multiple of 8 now can we divide 36 with 8 no right so that's why statement r is false all right and here the connecting word although it is not used here but it is for sure that okay so it is already used here yeah we can see that there is and written here right so that's why here the connecting word is and all right so you may pause the video to note down